Hey everyone, welcome back on the channel. Welcome back to another uh, FSA 3 video. Today we are trying it on the casting of Frank Stone. This is a horror slash thriller and suspense type of game. Press Q to activate. Wow, that's an awesome looking pulse right there. Alright, so anyway, let's uh, talk about the mod and the game. So the thing is, uh, this game already have FSR3 inbuilt, like if I go to the setting, uh, right now I'm playing on low and medium because this game is very much unoptimized. Like uh, you can see I am on DLSS quality, I cannot turn on the frame generation just yet. But uh, if I switch to FSR3 quality, you can see the frame generation is... Uh, Applicable. so yeah i have turned the frame generation on and you can see the fps uh, right here uh, the fps has boosted somewhat like uh, from 60 to around 80 but if you look closely at the character's uh, head uh, you can see a very much flicker and uh, antilizing jagged edges so i don't know how much the video can capture but yeah i think you can do a look at this uh, jagged edges but if you switch that to dlss or xcss that uh, jagged edges will be gone like if i try the dlss even on balance mode wait i think that didn't apply it even on balance mode that is reduced by somewhat margin but you cannot use the frame generation with the xcss and dlss uh, at stock so yeah what we're gonna do we're gonna mod this game to use the fsr 3.1 uh, frame generation and upscaler uh, which is decoupled from fsr 3 uh, upscaler so yeah let's begin this video without any delay all right so in this mod we uh, got two files uh, one is the basic fsr3 mod which is paste and edit the text and play and one is the latest dlss enabler 3.02 beta 4 so if you have an uh, rtx card please do use this dlss enabler because you can use the real dlss along with the fsr3 frame generation if you don't have rtx card use this zip uh, you will be able to use the fsr3 but you can still use this dlss enabler if you want to use xcss along with the frame generation so i'm not going to show much details about this uh, zip because you just want to do the extraction then go to the installation directory and paste these files uh, and play and if you can't see the dlss in game then you have to paste the nvgx.dll also but i'm going to show it in the dlss enabler way because uh, that has some uh, tricks to do and yeah there is also little more options to discover uh, in this update so yeah let's uh, begin first we're gonna double click on the dlss enabler then click accept next next then we're gonna go to the installation directory of this game which is uh, here for me after that we're gonna go inside sm02 uv5 then binaries then win64 and we're gonna copy the whole path location of this directory by clicking on this folder and selecting the whole copy and we're gonna delete this and paste the directory here after that we click next now in here uh, you can see a new option which is called a dg help dot dll now you can just try the dll version if you have uh what do you say nvidia gpu or the game isn't modded but if you have an amd you can just click on this uh, enable support for the amd and uh, intel gpu and you can also select the win dnm that has a better success rate of uh, installing the mod uh, in amd gpu rather than the DL dll version but yeah uh, i'm on nvidia so i'm not going to take this in uh, amd and intel gpu i'm just going to install it as a dll file so then click next install now the mod has installed now what we're gonna do is go inside the game and i'll show you some settings how you can get the best quality and the best fps so yeah let's dive in the game now star wars outlaws offline activation is starting at just 400 indian rupees wukong at just 350 rupees along with all the new and old games and windows 10 and 11 serial key the stock is limited so hurry all right uh, we are back inside the game and uh, 
as you can see the fps has now boosted around 90 to 93 uh, with the dlss cause you can see the shimmering is a little bit less than previous yeah it is still there this game has a little lot of shimmers around the character's uh, texture model but yeah let's just anyway go to the setting and re-verify let it's on xcss balance but still the mod is working so we're gonna go to dlss frame generation quality set on then come back to the game all right so it does feel a little bit better in dlss mode but uh, you do have to be on the rtx card to use the real dlss or if you check the amd and intel tick box the fsr 3 will take replace uh, in position of the dlss uh, yeah there uh, i can see uh, less shimmering in this character texture so right now if you want to use the xcss or fsr 3.1 upscaler what you have to do is now press the insert button this kind of ui will open up now from here you can just select this xcss and click on apply so wait let me just first show you 3.1 and then show you xcss by this you will be able to understand how why xcss is better so in this 3.1 uh, if you see the character's head it's like very much shimmering but as soon as i press insert again and go to xcss and apply and the, i can see now it's shimmering but it's a little bit less i don't know how the video can capture it but i can feel it it's little bit less than a 3.1 like in this way you can see the difference it's very very less and do let me know if it works for you or not in the comment section feel free to join the discord for more upcoming mods and news and if you want any kind of game you know where to find uh, so yeah uh, this will be all for this video uh, i'll see you guys in the next one until then cheers